think all art starts between the head and the heart. A committed brushstroke, confident palette, both powerful skills driving the creative spirit of Montgomery County artist Paula Cleggett, even during the coronavirus pandemic. Cleggett's artistry was her mother's gift to a five-year-old child. She introduced me to art. Um, it's on our walls, went to museums. I'm from Chicago, very rich city, rich in art and exposure. I won a scholarship to attend the Art Institute for high schoolers. That's where she met teacher Elston Elston, who taught that painting happens in the eye, but also the mind, and always urged her students to look deeper, something Cleggett does to this day. Art was always part of Cleggett's life, but in college, she realized she didn't want to be an art teacher. I said, wait a minute, I don't want to do this. <laughs> I want to paint. Instead, she continued her education, getting a master's in journalism. Her art was interrupted by life. Her path included public affairs jobs with the U.S. Treasury and NASA, followed by a policy position at Vanderbilt University. I was not able to give painting any kind of creative energy. Uh, throughout my career. I've always had an easel in my home. I've always had space for painting. But to regularly paint, no, I wasn't able to do that. Until she retired. I feel fortunate that I'm able to now devote more time to it. At first, I just did kind of anything. Let's just see what comes to mind in terms of what I want to do. And then I started getting in shows and I, you know, said, okay, well, maybe we'll focus. We'll do, we'll run a theme, you know, we'll do a series on a certain topic. Then the pandemic hit and changed her outlook. And so since then, I'm all over the place, as you can see, landscapes, figures, abstracts. I enjoy them all. But during the pandemic, I said, I'm going to drill down. So I went back to basics and started drawing more. And I did a portrait, and a portrait at a level of fidelity I had not done before. And that was rewarding to me, to have a person look like the actual person. And lo and behold, the actual person likes it. She's always told stories about other people. Now she paints stories. One thing that you might see in my paintings is that I'm inspired painting people doing what inspires them. If I'm finding a moment, let's say in a photograph or a memory that brought me joy, brought me peace, and I can convey this on canvas, then you might tap into that joy or peace that I found. So we're connected like that. You know? I think I'm still maturing as an artist, and I don't know that I've had my process down pat, but. Uh, <laughs> Sometimes I'll do a portrait and I'll say, oh, I need to do an abstract because I need to free up. I need to have a nose look like a nose or eye look like an eye. I need to just be able to be a little freer here. Freedom, restraint, abstract, realism. Cleggett is not above redefining herself or her work. You could either paint people who look like you or feel like you. I paint the feeling and that could come in any shape or form. A painting is one of the deeper relationships you'll ever have. <laughs> when I go to my studio and I get back to my good friend, my canvas, and we just have a good old time together. An artistic life of food, frivolity, family, and friends, all with a nod to the head and heart. Diane Roberts from IMCM.